North Dakota has a rich history from dinosaurs and Native Americans to military expeditions and homesteaders. No matter where you are in the state, you don't have to travel far to find an interesting piece of history. That's the idea behind one Southwest North Dakota group's annual ATV history tour. Members of Bowman's Pioneer Trails Regional Museum take history lovers off-road for the adventure of the summer without ever getting too far from home. Jody Kersman has more from this year's tour. Within this area, Kevin Heinrich 23, yeah. is a history really buff. Carried Hugh Glass for quite a few days after he got attacked. He is especially fascinated with Southwest North Dakota. I've been here all my life. He spent much of his life soaking up every piece of history and about 15 years of age he can find. We have so much in this part of the state and it's right under our feet. Now he and other members of Bowman's Pioneer Trails Regional Museum are sharing that history with others. There's a lot of history here. History that on this day they brought to life by going off-road. More than a hundred people joined this year's ATV history tour. It's really shallow coming in from the tour from the showcased the Haley area with through. stops at Haley Dam and at a canal on the Grand River engineered by a resourceful rancher in the 1800s. This is a remnant of the dam. The group stopped to look for shark teeth. Manta ray tooth and a bone. Proof oh, here's a shark tooth. that this land was once underwater. Yeah, look at that. And they saw military sites, including this what spot. Doing is you're basically standing on the edge of the Custer camp. Where General Custer That's and his men camped on their way to the Black Hills. Custer came through here in 1874. In the 1890s, this Dakota marker was placed along the border between North and South Dakota. It is one of 720 monuments originally placed on the state line. Not far from that marker is the once booming town of Haley. Rosalie Crinky lives just a half mile from here. Yes. She still uh, attends church here. We have a uh, church every Sunday. That church was the highlight of the day for Jody Moore. I am always been fascinated with the old country churches. But she says everything about this trip was her favorite. Because she says there's just something about that open air that brings history to life reminds her that this land is filled with stories and with history. In Bowman County, I'm Jody Kurzman, reporting for your news leader. The museum board organizes one ride each summer. It's usually during the first weekend of June. You can check their website for more information. We've got a link to it on our website.